Madam Elizabeth and Miss Zoe here. We're happy hauling and we have quite the Dollar Tree haul for you guys. Look at all this good stuff. Watch out, watch your snout. Hey, sorry Zoe girl. So we have quite the haul for you, but before we get into the haul, if you are not currently subscribed, please consider subscribing. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell and YouTube will let you know every time we post a video and don't forget to smash that like button. Stick around to the end of the video and we have our question of the day. So let's just dive right in. Total random haul. I've been to Dollar Tree a couple times this week and found some awesome things. Uh, not as many as I would have liked to, but that's okay. There's always next week, am I right? So first item, some novelty stickers. So these would be, I would think, for more adults. Like this one, shaved my legs today. Taco uh, day every day. Um, Only had five cups today. Uh, that's enough adulting for today. Actually cooked something I pinned, so like from Pinterest. My kids actually ate the meal I made. <clears throat> so I had to get those, they were hilarious. And um, in that same section in my store, I found this Shopkin sticker play pack. So you get two sugar uh, sticker sheets and- Sugar sheets. <laughs> two sticker sheets and 12 activity sheets. So this would be something they could bring like to a restaurant or something with you. It would be good for the kids. And then, like I told you, random. Picked up a shower a comb. shower comb. For, Is that a thing? For myself. Yeah. We gotta open this baby. Go for it, I'm gonna keep going though, okay? And I picked up a pack of paper bags. Uh, I feel like my Dollar Trees have been out of them recently, so I was really excited Are to see them. we gonna make some puppets? <laughs> if that's what you wanna do, they're just good to have on hand. I always so. loved making paper bag puppets when I was a kid. Mm. That's my ear, so. Sorry, oh, it works so good. Yeah, there we go. Oh, that's my Got ear. Got you again. That's my ear again, it didn't move. <laughs> and they did, so these combs, um, they had also blue and green. I had to search for uh, pink, so. And I got this cute book for Mr. Holland, actually. Top dog. It's Ooh. so cute, look at the back of it. Oh my gosh. I did. Oh, you want me to show them? Cute. Top dog and other doggone <clears throat> delightful expressions. So cute. Working like a dog. I guess these are probably all dog related expressions. Yeah. yeah. Junkyard dog. <laughs> all right, well, we're not going to go through them all. Here's ah, that's dog crazy. days of summer. Oh my goodness. How much was it originally? $15.99, baby. Okay, so I- What oh, a steal. I know, it is a steal. So I found these Epsom salt tablets. You add to a bath when you have tired or sore muscles with lavender essential oils. I don't know if I've ever seen these before because you put them in the bath with you, not on the floor in the shower. Yeah. So I picked those up because I thought, you know what? Why not? I got, good. I got tired and sore muscles. Yeah, good to have on hand. And then I found these. I'm really excited. They are name brand, the Made Smart. So I picked up three of them. They're little um, soap dishes, like to put your bar of soap in. Uh, so Mr. Holland will definitely have one of these in the shower and I'll probably put one at the kitchen sink and maybe one in the kids' bathroom or something. But they were super cool. Definitely be on the lookout for those. See the little made, this is just a sticker on the outside. You can peel that off so you don't have to have it branded. Oh yeah, perfect peel. Oh, good job. And then Miss Emmy had come with me the other day and she told me that she has these toothbrushes at her Gaga and Papa's house. Um, it flashes for two minutes, so that's kind of nice. You don't have to have the timer and the toothbrush separate. You just, it's all in one. 
and they only had um, a little penguin or a little panda bear. So we got one of each for the kiddos. It says, hmm. making brushing fun. Oh, it looks fun. So much fun. <clears throat> and cool. then I also picked up, these are new Mentos Beauty bath bombs. You get three bath bombs in here and they're strawberry mm -hmm. scented. So I thought those were cool. I'm gonna just kind of open it and see if I can get a smell. Zoe wants a smell. She thinks they're a treat. Holy smokes. It's not a treat. Can you smell it? Zoe, well, she get stuck out her of there. Whole head in there. <laughs> so did you. <laughs> I can smell it. It's not super strong because they're still strawberry. In, yeah, they're Zoe individually Zoe loves the smell, don't you? Not for you. No. Not for puppies. Not for pups. And then I did find a few Easter things. So they got these, um, they're calling so them funny. Easter eggs, but they clearly look just like Legos. And I That's got pretty cool, though. Mr. Addison's birthday is this next week and he's having a Lego themed party. So I thought these would kind of be fun to go with his party. Yeah, you could put little treats in there or something. Yeah, something. And so then, look at these! <laughs> I picked one of each color up. So blue, purple, and pink. Uh, and they have little bunny tails on the back. So cute. So obviously the pink and the blue are for Mr. Addison and Miss Emmy. So I will wear the purple. I'll honor myself as the purple peep wearer. The little tag on the back isn't very hard to take off. Oh, okay, that's good to know. Just apply pressure to the tail and then pull it so you don't rip the tail off. Oh, okay. And going along with the Easter theme peeps, these are chocolate, milk chocolate covered marshmallows. So we got one for Adam and each of the kids. I wanted to try it. I mean, they're pretty solid. Like, I, the chocolate must be pretty thick. So that's exciting. And then this was also in the Easter section. These are paper straws. I use these to kind of more, mostly to decorate with, um, but I've also used them in craft type projects before for the kids at school. I'll like cut the straw up and make it like a bead so they can bead yeah. it. Paper straws are not our favorite to use though. Like for no, drinking. they're not very efficient. Um, and they feel weird. I'd rather have, you know, they have these like biodegradable plastic ones if you're really. Yeah, we got some at Starbucks. Starbucks has changed to those. They're good. Fun fact for you. So um, I picked up these pony, they're calling ponytail holders, the, a pack of 18. Didn't you just already get some of these? Well, it was in a video that we thought we filmed and we didn't. Do you recall? video. Really? Emmy FaceTimed us and it canceled. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. So they didn't get to see that. Oh, you but never I, saw this. No, so I had to pick up another pack though because I don't know where I put those ones. So, so yeah, there was a, <laughs> yeah, you're right. There was a video that you guys never got to see. Uh, apparently I need to put myself on do not disturb when I'm filming, otherwise it will stop the filming. Live and learn, right? Live and learn. <clears throat> so picked some more of those up since I can't find the other pack and then I picked up another one of the Arm & Hammer uh, foam Ugh. soap we're all right and this one is what is it it says Sim oh my gosh it's like my hands are slippery or something it's simply fresh and it smells very nice paraben free dye free and it's vegan yeah I, I don't, don't worry are about there it. soaps with animal products in them maybe I don't know it's nice and it fresh. It just, to me, kind of smells a little bit like... Aloe. Uh, oh, aloe? Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I wasn't thinking that. I was thinking it smelled to me like uh, soap, what, it, detergent? Soap. Detergent, is that what they call it for like, washing clothes? Yeah. That's laundry soap. Laundry soap. There mm -hmm. we go. That's what I was thinking of. Okay. So then I did pick up a couple dog toys. So these are They're just super like super bouncy balls solid rubber yeah. balls so unlike a tennis ball dogs they shouldn't really be able to ruin this they shouldn't yeah 
I mean, a, a to, determined dog would do it. It's easy to wipe clean, like. Um, you want this? Because Zoe loves fetching tennis balls, but she gets them so slobbery, and then I don't want to oh, touch yeah. them. So that's why. It, Any of her toys that have like fur on it. Yeah. Ooh, they they get gross they do quick. Kind of nasty. Zoe, we get it. Oh, and I picked this. Go get it. I picked this next item up for Mr. Holland. Look at. Oh no. It's an LED mag I'm not old. magnifier. I am not old. Come on. You know what? These are the type of things that you buy as like jokes or whatever. And then they actually but come. But you didn't buy it as a joke. But then they actually come in handy. So you, If you were trying to make a joke out of this, you should have saved it for my birthday. Which is not that far off. It's, Call, only it's long months. enough away. Only a couple months. So um, Miss Emmy picked this out for her brother, the police uh, make it block set. So had to show that off. And then she picked this out for herself, this play money. Oh. So. Um, a learning toy. She did. She's learning about money in school. So that's refreshing that she wants to actually continue learning that when she's not doing school time. I feel like I've tried to get us to buy this for her already. And then. Oh, I picked this out. He did. This is mini square mm. bowls. You get six of them. What do they have showing in there? Some like sort of parfait. dessert. Yeah. Oh, it's like a couple layer thing. Anyway. Mm -hmm. I just thought these might be kind of nice for putting little candies in or, I mean, we could try to do desserts. You could make some pudding and put it in there. I've noticed that they've been really stocking up in their party section, so you may... Um... It's because parties are back, didn't you know? Yes. Uh, I was just gonna say you may want to check it out because they had a lot of other different sizes, same concept like those types of little cups. Um, I saw some that were a 12 pack and they were like more rounded. So I should have picked them up because those would have been kind of fun. Maybe next time. And then well, I picked this out too. This is a new item from Crafter Square. Some needles for sewing. Look at that. They've got. You know your regular thread ones, and then they've got these huge, yeah, that's like a big one. upholstery ones, packing needle, glove needle, curved mattress needle. I mean, seriously, they got some real good. Every ones. needle you could ever. Need. Every needle you could need, except for a sewing machine needle. Well, self-threading needles. That would be a sewing machine. How does needle? that work? No, no, no. See, the eye is at the top, and on a sewing machine needle at the bottom. Oh. Well, the sewing machine must be a different kit. Yeah, probably. So I found this so cute. So they still have a lot of the gardening stuff. So this one says flower market established 1953. I just thought it was really cute. And I'm probably gonna put like one of those foam um, things inside and then put a bunch of like artificial flowers in here and stick it as decoration outside of our front door. But I just thought it was really cute. I like how rustic it looks. Oh, you silly thing. I, she has the right front and center. Oh, and I picked these out too. These. I'm on a roll. You're on fire. Here we go. Look. So these are uh, little soaker hoses. They're 9.8 feet long or three meters. And he picked up two of them. I picked two. And the reasoning is we have two raised planter beds and I didn't feel like moving them around. So like I'm obviously already going to have to put the hose on them. That's enough moving. I don't want to do more than that. So what we need to do next is we need to go down to Target and get those quick connectors for here because we already have a hose quick connect system. The quick connectors cost quick, more get, than- get, get, get. They cost more than- Oh the yeah, they cost more than that, yeah. Goodness gracious. But it's worth it. And then he then found I also picked this out a serrated pruning shear. <gasps> what? Yeah. Who doesn't need this? I mean, we have lavender back there. We should be pruning. Uh, we got a maple tree we should be pruning. It probably doesn't need it yet, though. It's pretty young. It's pretty young. But like but even um, the blueberries could use it. Blueberries. We also have uh, boxwoods in the front. Hydrangeas. Yeah, so we got mm -hmm. stuff we could be pruning. So I was like, let's get this, because this is a new one. I haven't seen this rated one before. Mm -hmm. And then... We have 
some birthday cards because this month I have two special people who have birthdays to me. Are you allowed to show some of these? I know I that I can quickly. I know that you get you have people who watch this that are these cards are for. Well, then I will just give one peek at all of them. And I accidentally bought one twice, so <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm ready for the next 9-year-old birthday. Look at it. We got some cards and cards are still two for a dollar at Dollar Tree. So, definitely good deal. definitely check out cards there. We don't and want to spoil those card surprises. We have some more birthday stuff, so we had to pick up. The I number, picked that out too. Number nine birthday card or candle for Mr. Addison, and these are new. Oh. This is a balloon tie tool. I kind of picked that out too. You told me to get it, but I took them off the rack. He did all after of after showing you. And they have it in two different colors. So this yeah. one is blue and green. I believe the other one was red and yellow. Does that sound right? It had red. I don't know if it was yellow. Okay. Either way, mm -hmm. I don't know that the color matters. It doesn't. It's just about the tool. It's got but... directions on the back telling you what to do. And I don't still think I would know what to do. Mm. So we'll figure it out. I already know how to tie them with just my hands. Okay, and then picked up some balloons. So 25 pack latex balloons right here. These are nine inch balloons. These and ones then, are 15 pack that say happy inch. birthday. They're larger, they're 12 inch balloons. They're larger and they say happy birthday. And then we picked these up for Addison when it's his birthday. He'll be so cool. Yep, it's, it's my birthday. And then last but not least, we picked up this birthday box bag. Uh, I was really excited to see, I know that they get them in, but it just always happens to be like other people snatch them all up before I get a chance to see them. So I was really happy to find one of the large size ones. So we will fill that up with goodies for Mr. Addison. So that was our haul. We've reached the point of the video when we have our question of the day. It's now going to be the question of the week though, right? Yeah, that's true. It is going to be the question of the week. Do you Which have one? Which is the perfect time for you to give us the question. I have mm -hmm. a question for all of you wonderful subscribers and it is inspired by the adorable dog book that we got and then this adorable little poochie on my lap right here. <laughs> So this is a two-part question. Question number one, what is your favorite breed of dog and why? Because the second question is, should Adam and I get another dog? We love Miss Zoe and she... she's our firstborn. Yep. But she's my dog, and Mr. Holland really wants a dog to love him as much as she loves me. So Zoe loves me when Elizabeth is not home. So we've been looking at some shelters, kind of weighing our options. So I would love some feedback from all of you wonderful subscribers. I can't wait to read it. I'm not even going to ask Mr. Holland the question. She already knows. Because I we've already been looking know. at dogs every day. Yeah. So, uh, at least I have been. On that note, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope that you're having a wonderful Saturday or whatever day you happen to watch this. Hopefully you're having a great spring break. I know around here uh, we are on spring break now. So I cannot wait for the next haul. And until that happens, stay happy, stay healthy, and happy hauling. Bye, guys.